folks, let's do a little simple uh, tutorial that covers how to animate a camera using a null object. Now this using a null will make the camera animation a lot simpler just by copying and pasting some keyframes. So I'll show you an example of a camera moving between four objects. So let me just um, let me just fit this to screen. There we go and okay. So simple camera move and if I just go to my custom view, always useful, we can see what's going on there. Let me just scroll back a little bit. One, two, three, four. You can see that camera moving between the objects. So let's just go from the top. Let's do a new comp. There we go. And let's just fit that in there. Let's do a new solid. Let's create like a floor layer. Let's make that 3D. We'll hit rotation. Let's rotate it 90 degrees, that's our floor. Make it nice and big. We try that for starters. Let's go back to our active camera, of course, it's right in the middle so we can't see it. Let's pull it down to make a floor. Maybe stretch that out a little more. It's nice and big, going off into the horizon. Make it bigger, there we are. Okay, that should do it. Let's pop a grid on that to give it some perspective. Okay, looking good, bit Tron. And let's put the grid blending mode to add to keep our colors there. Okay, good starting point. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to get our little objects here. Bongos, earphones, speaker, tape. Let's just whack those on there. All right, it doesn't matter which order. And what we need to do is make all of these 3D. Okay, so there we go. And we can just drag those up slightly. You can see, just get them sitting on the floor. Okay, so that kind of thing. We can adjust them a little more later. There's bongos, earphones, just getting them. Let's have our speaker. Just want it to be there. We go. We can see when it's actually touching the floor there. And there we go, and our tape. Okay, so I've positioned them on our little virtual floor. Okay, now what we need to do is spread them apart. And the best way to do that, I find, is to go to the custom view. Let's go to the custom view. Let's scroll out a bit. Nice and big. And let's, so, let's start with our bongos there. Let's just pull them forward a little. Maybe move them. There we go, maybe take them on the air, move it across. Let's take the next one, which is the earphones. Let's push those kind of over there. Maybe move them back. Then what we've got next, we've got our speaker. Let's just push that right back. We maybe maybe over this way a little. And finally, our tape. Let's get right right off in the distance. All the way back you go, back you go, and uh, maybe kind of over this way. Got a nice, nice distance, a uh, nice spread between the objects. Go to our active camera. Okay, and as you can see, the first two have disappeared because um, we've pulled those forward. Okay, so next thing we need to do is add a camera to the scene. Layer new camera. Let's make it the 50 uh, millimeter camera, always a good place to start. Let's enable the depth of field and let's take the aperture right up to 100 so we've got a big depth of field. There you go, it's throwing things already out of focus there. Now, what we're gonna use, we, I could like play about with the camera position and animate that so like that we could sort of take it back. There we go and, and, and I could add keyframes and all that but there's a much simpler way to, uh, to do this. So let's just go to layer, new, and there's two ways of doing this. I could create a null object, make it 3D and parent the camera to the null, or there's a shortcut, which is simply select the camera, and go layer, camera, create orbit null, which does exactly the same thing, but saves you having to make it 3D and parent it to the camera. Okay, so now, let's say I want to start at my bongos here, which as you can see are over to the left and forward. Let's just hit P 
for position. Copy that position, go to our null object layer and position, let's say, and, and then paste. And there we have the bongos right in the center. Okay, so then we can go to our keyframes. Let's go to one second, add a keyframe. Go to two seconds, so we'll get it to hover for a second on each object. Add another keyframe. Let's go to three seconds. Go to our next one along, which is the earphones position. Copy that. Paste that. Go to four seconds. Add a keyframe. So we've now got one. Let's go into the earphones. Okay, let's keep that there for a second. Go to six seconds. Go to the speaker position. Copy position. Paste position. There's the speaker. Go to seven seconds. Add another keyframe. Then go to eight seconds and go to tape. Position. Copy position. Go to the null object. Paste the position. And hey presto, without entering a single keyframe ourselves manually, just all we've done is copied and pasted. And we've got an animation that goes from the there to there to there to there. So that's our simple animation. Now I want to add a little more make this a little more organic, a little more fluid. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take all these keyframes by hitting the posi position little uh, word here and stopwatch, go to animation, keyframe assistant, or you can hit F9 and let's easy ease all those. So we've got more of a, it ramps up. So when it goes from one to the other, it just speeds up and slows down a little, makes it a little more fluid. And I want to kind of give the camera more of a sort of steady cam motion. So I'm just going to alt click on the position that we've already added the keyframes to on the null. Alt click on that, type in wiggle, everyone's favorite expression, open brackets. Let's do 0 0.5, nice and slow. Uh, maybe th try 30 for our pixel randomness. There we go. And so we just got this nice slow kind of, the camera's just slowly moving randomly. Gives it a little, so if just play, let me just make that big. So you can see at the start, uh, the camera just has a slight movement. So let's just add in a little more to the scene. So when it stops on an object, it's not completely still. We've got nice depth of field there on the objects. That's all good, okay. And let's also add a light to this scene. So let's go to our layer, new light. Let's have a point light. Uh, let's have cast shadows on. I usually have my shadow darkness set. Let's try about 50%. Try that. Shadow diffusion, 20%. That's usually about okay. Let's see how that looks. Now, um, obviously the light has been pushed when it comes in. It's quite far forward. So let's just come out. We need to bring this back. Find a good spot to start. Move it all the way back. Uh, let's, let's bring that up a bit. So let's have a look on our active camera. Okay, so we need to sort of bring this across. Okay, that, that's looking quite Quite good there, nice sort of fall off into the darkness. And let's go to our all our objects. Let's open up the material options and turn on cast shadows. There we go. So that's much better. So they're all turned on now. So we've got we've got nice shadows on the scene. But as, as you can see, as I move forward, these objects become very dark because the, sh the light is still at the back. So one way we could fix that is simply to take the light and we can now also parent that to the null. So it almost becomes like a top light with the camera. So as it goes through the scene, it adds more illumination to these objects. Now, one thing you notice is the floor is quite dark. So we could always fix that 
if we wanted the floor to remain bright, we could simply turn up the, uh, we could go to the light and light options. We could increase the intensity, not too much, just uh, so we could brighten the scene up. Or if we wanted the floor to just remain its consistent color, we could go to the material options for the floor and have the shadows, accept shadows on and accept lights off. So we get a nice bright kind of scene. There we go. So you can see how using this null object on a camera can really give you a nice easy way to animate through a scene. You can just split up different layers, different Photoshop layers, different text layers, have the camera flying through them. And we can even look at, if we click on that null, see as, as it goes from one to the other, we can even sort of grab these handles, have it kind of fly up and down a little bit. And here, so we can change, change the animation as we go along. So, um, So we've got the K going, yeah. So it's by no means fixed. We can just take those points and add extra animation to them. But uh, nice and simple. And have fun with After Effects. Thank you. Bye.